What's up guys? I'm Evan Davis. And I'm Eric Hoffman. Today, we are going to make a video on what a compression system is. We are going to be going over the different types of forks and what to look for when building up a new scooter. So let's get right into it. So we have to first of all pick a fork to start talking about. Um, so I think our first compression should be <laughs> okay, since Evan can't decide, yeah, I'm really just going to do HIC, because that's a classic. Everyone loves HIC. So, the cool thing about HIC is that it's a very, very, very simple compression system. You got your little shim that you put over the top of the fork there, and if I can get this to thread inside there. That would be great. Oh, there we go, I'll copy this. Just taking the long way around using my fingers. And you don't just want to tighten it with just your hands, kids. That's that's not good. Tighten until a half spin. Or full spin. There's no wheel. wheel on it. Yeah. Oh, At least just tell them. It's actually got it's like kind of loose right now because it was Stuck on something. Just tell them once you have a wheel on. Once you have a wheel on, you want it to spin about halfway around the full. It depends. It's different preferences for everybody. So, with HIC compression, uh, it is made for oversized bars. So this is actually going to be fitting inside of the bar itself. Um, since this is oversized, or since this is made for oversized, they'll be able to fit perfectly in these oversized bars. But if I change the bars to these, I'm totally blanking on what these are. Those are the Affinity Basic Tees. Ah, you see, these are just regular Basic Tees. These are standard, so they won't be able to fit on the HIC. But Evan, what about these oversized bars? Ah, well you see, <laughs> these oversized bars are standard on the inside. Why? They are aluminum. Interesting. And why do they do that? Because the material itself is lighter. So you have to have more of it to make it just as strong. Ah. Factual stuff there from Evan. All right. So HIC and this is IHC. And the cool part about IHC is that it will actually fit the standard inner diameter of our aluminum bars, just like that. Okay, but what's wrong with our picture here? What is wrong with our picture here? We are missing the thing that is actually going to keep the bars on, which is the clamp. Oh, he's right. How silly of me. Now, with oh. items such as SCS, the clamp is part of the compression system. Like the clamp is attached to the fork and the bar goes in the fork. But with IHC and HIC, you get this nice little clamp. You know what, we're gonna grab this Epic one. You get a nice clamp that you get to put on the bar itself, which will then tighten down onto, this one's tight. <laughs> uh, Loosen this real quick. Sometimes you have to loosen your clamp when mm -hmm. it comes out of the box. <laughs> Poor Evan, he can't get it on. He's trying so hard. Of course, it has to happen to me. <laughs> It's just because I'm new, huh? Yeah, that's okay. That happens. Ah. I swear, I mean, I'm not a first timer, guys. This guy can't even tell what. Yeah, no, there's no way I'm getting all Yes. Sweet. 
Yeah, so for HIC and IHC, you get to have the clamp on your bar already installed, which you then install the bar straight onto the fork. Um, unlike SCS, which the clamp is already part of the fork. So now that we've shown you what HIC and IHC is, let's actually go into SCS. So Eric, you want to do the honors? I would. All right, you ready? All right, so you guys are probably wondering when Evan said, this is part of the fork. You're probably thinking, what, what the heck does that even mean? I'm gonna show you. So the cool thing about SCS is that it doesn't have all these extra little parts. It's all it one just, part. It goes right over the top of the fork. Don't do it as clumsy as me. Um, and then you just drop your fork bolt right in the top there. Tighten it down. So let's see. All right. So I'm going to go over. Again, just one more time, uh, what compression sort of goes with what bars. So, um, HIC and SCS go with oversized bars. IHC goes with either standard bars or aluminum bars. Wait, did I just do it? <laughs> Another cool thing about SCS is that it will fit any bars so long as they don't have a slit. And the reason you don't want to have a slit is because when you clamp it down, they will collapse and then they'll eventually crack and snap in half. Uh, you don't want that. Well, why? Because the slit collapses. I said that. The slit collapses. Well, because you okay, clamp yeah, it. yeah. I just want them to be so, able to visualize Yeah. That. With the assistance of a shim, you can transfer from these bars to these bars. And the difference between the two, other than that these are steel and the other ones were titanium, is that these are standard. And a lot of guys like standard because they're slightly lighter. Okay, so that's not gonna go in without doing the penny trick. Oh no! We can't get our bars into our clamp. Whatever will we do? The penny trick. The penny trick. <laughs> How do you do the penny trick? You it's it. mighty simple. You thread your third bottom, or yeah, third bolt in backwards. You place the penny right there, and what that'll do is after this is caught threads, is that it'll use pressure to push the clamp open. We take our bars, drops right in. It's perfect. That's the penny trick. It's an essential part to the SES because if you ride SES and you buy brand new bars, or brand nine, new SCS. Or brand new SCS. Nine times out of ten, you're going to have to use the penny trick. It's just how it is. Um, also, when you do the penny trick, if you're putting the if you're putting the bolt back in the side that it belongs, then you're doing it wrong. It goes in the other side so that it can spread it. I don't know why exactly. Um, it's because there's no threads on this side. So oh, there's okay. no threads for it to catch in then. Okay, yeah. Uh, you have no threads to catch on this side, so you have to start it 
on the side that it is actually going into. It's confusing, but that's how you get uh, results. Cool. Is that all of it? We have SES. We did. Um, we did HIC, IHC. Yep. Is that it? Yeah, pretty much. Cool. So let's clean this up. And it's going to be clean now. Like, comment, subscribe. Bye, Peace. guys. Mic drop, man.